Hello there, this is Johnny of Man and Machine. And this is going to be a quick demonstration on Dynamaps inside of Dynamo. Um, so you might use Dynamaps if you are trying to create context in Revit. So you're building a building in a city or maybe in the countryside and you need some information about the buildings around it or perhaps even tree survey data. So to get Dynamaps, first of all, uh, you can use the packages in Dynamo. So you need to search for the package and then find Dynamaps. Uh, and then download and install. It's very easy. Um, if you don't know Dynamo that well, perhaps you want to do a little bit of um, research before uh, you go ahead and use these. But Dynamo is here and you would just install it using this uh, button here. And it gives you a, a load of nodes that allows you just to bring in information from a connected map source um, that you can get to via your view button in Dynamo once you install it here. But this is connected to Revit. So what we're going to do in this uh, little overview is just bring in some information um, from London about potentially an area I might be building on, maybe. So first of all, what I need to do is I'm going to, just because what I can find, what I have found is that sometimes uh, bringing in this information can actually cause Dynamo to crash, because I'm going to use my Quasar package to freeze all of the nodes after this point here. Um, it just frees up um, your drivers enough that uh, it will not crash so um, sometimes it can be useful if you're ever doing anything like this in Dynamo just to free selections and run the script in parts uh, so that it doesn't kill your machine. So what I've got here is uh, Dynamaps uh, interface open and you just select the area that you want to bring in so I'll choose this uh, greys in square here and I'll push this to Dynamo. Cool so once that's done what we can then do is use this information uh, to start building out some things. So I've uh, I've left the nodes that create the surface and the roads on. So what we have here is the topography and some roads beneath it. The rest of the script that I've created is going to create what we've created here as generic families. So I'm going to unfreeze some of the script and then just start running parts of it. So I'm going to unfreeze the selection. Before I do, just quickly show you what Revit looks like. So Inside of Revit now, we'll have the um, the geometry showing. So if I was to close Dynamo at the moment, this will actually disappear. It's not created in here. And that's what the rest of the script does. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be creating the roads as a family. So I'm just going to hit run, cross my fingers. Um, and this is going to create the roads projected onto the surface, actually, um, as a generic family inside of Revit. So all that I should have done now is I have this uh, generic family of roads. Um, they are five meters wide in uh, the case here. It's just a piece of information you have to put in because there is no information from the maps about the width of the road. Um, so this might be something that you need to edit afterwards. I'm then going to just, I'm going to hold my breath and actually unfreeze both of these at the same time and I'll run this as well. What this should do is create the buildings and also the topography. While I have the topography here, what it's going to do is actually cut the roads out of the topography that I create inside of Reddit. Um, that's kind of useful if you want to give things materials um, and generally kind of just have a bit more control over them. So hopefully what we have now inside of Revit is uh, we have our topography. So we've had the topography here and I, this is a, a generic family that I can go into change the look of. Likewise with the roads I can go I could change those to the asphalt so that they were black and then the buildings I could find a seamless image and just put that on those so that they look like buildings. But if I was using like some Enscape um, or something like that now it might give you a bit more kind of depth. Um, you also get obviously information maybe if you're at concept stage about how things are going to work with other buildings, access, um, things like that. These aren't perfect, but if you're looking at kind of just getting a picture of the, like, the site in a wider context, then this can really be quite useful. And it's very quick. Um, so that's Dynamaps. This is why it's useful and it's how you can get it. If you have any questions, contact us at Man and Machine. Thank you very much for watching.